and welcome to my channel um, on this video in English. I hope you really like this simple bracelet. Um, it's one of the basic bracelets and it is easy if you know the basic knots, if you know your forward, your backward knots, your forward backward and your backward forward knots, okay? So just because I say it's easy doesn't mean that a beginner should do this bracelet and it's gonna be super easy. Only if you're familiar with the candy stripe and the chevron bracelet then and also the red rug and other simple bracelets then this bracelet will be easy for you okay so you're gonna need six strings okay that's if you have the loop so I'm gonna have the loop because I'm also gonna show you guys how to make the teardrop loop okay so it's six strings one of each color so that way you can do the loop and it will be folded in half i have pink white blue yellow green and purple and they're all pastel colors now if you don't want to use the loop then it's going to be 12 strings two of each color six colors okay so to start the tear teardrop loop you need the normal loop i do have a, a video on how to make the loop okay so check that out before starting this step now with each string we're going to do a forward backward knot with the left side okay so i'm going to count this one the pink one the one that we used to make the loop as the first forward backward knot then we grab this next string and with all of these together we're gonna do a forward backward knot and then we just leave it on the side then we grab the next string and a forward backward knot and then the next one forward backward knot and the next one which is the last one a forward backward knot just like that so now we're going to do the same thing on the other side instead of a forward backward knot you're going to do a backward forward knot okay if you guys have no idea of what these knot names are all about i do have videos a couple videos of how to make all these different knots so we're gonna make sure we're gonna grab we're gonna make sure that we're grabbing the same order of strings okay so the pink one is the first one then it's the white one this time it's a backward forward knot Then the next one is the purple one and the backward forward knot. So you're going to do this with each string. Okay, here we have it. Okay see it's the same order of strings the colors so now this knot is gonna complete the teardrop the teardrop loop so all you're gonna do is tie them together 
doesn't matter if it's a forward or a backward knot. And here we have it. So now we're gonna start the bracelet with the diamond and half diamonds pattern. So we're just gonna start with making a chevron. I do have a video on how to make the chevron bracelet. So it's grabbing the first string and we're gonna do forward knots to all these strings, okay? Now we're gonna grab on the right side the first string should be the same string so it's the pink one and this time we're gonna do backward knots to all these strings now the two pink strings are in the middle so we tie them together it doesn't matter if it's a forward or a backward knot I always do a forward knot Okay, and there is your chevron. Let me just show you really quick. There's a teardrop loop. It's just something different. And I really like how it looks. Okay, so now we're gonna start doing the triangles on the sides or the half diamonds. So we're gonna grab the first string and we're gonna do three forward knots. So it's one, two, and three. Then with the same string, to the next one, we're gonna do a forward backward knot. Then still the same side, we're gonna grab the first string and we're gonna do one forward knot. One, and then with the same string to the next one, a forward backward knot then still with the same string we're gonna do a backward knot so it's gonna go back to where it was now we're gonna grab the fourth string one two three four which is the white one and we're gonna do three backward knots One, two, and three. Just like that. And then we're gonna grab the string in the middle, which is the pink one. And we're gonna do four backward knots. Then with the same string to the next one, a backward forward knot. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, the right side, but with the opposite knots. So first string, and we're gonna do three backward knots. So it's one, two, and three. Then with the same string to the next one, we're gonna do a backward forward knot. Which is the blue one. <laughs> That's why it's important to make sure you're grabbing the correct order of strings. Now we're gonna grab the first string again. 
This time it's the purple one. And we're gonna do one backward knot. Just the one. And then with the same string to the next one, a backward forward knot. Then with the same string again, we're gonna do a forward knot. Just like that. Now we're gonna grab the fourth string, one, two, three, four, just the white one, and we're gonna do three forward knots. One, two, and three. Then we're gonna grab the string in the middle, the pink one, and we're gonna do four forward knots. Now with the same string to the next one, a forward backward knot. Just like that. Now we're gonna start with the diamond in the middle. Just grabbing the two strings in the middle, which are the blue ones. Make sure it's the two strings are the same color. And we're gonna tie them together. I always tie mine with the forward knot. So now we're gonna grab the left string and we're gonna do two backward knots. So it's one and two. Then with the same string the next one, a backward forward knot. We'll grab the other blue string, and we're gonna do the same thing, but this time with forward knots. So two forward knots. One and two. Then with the same string to the next one, a forward backward knot. Okay, so now we're gonna do the tiny diamond in the middle, which is gonna be with the yellow strings. So the two yellow strings are in the middle, so we tie them together. Then we grab the left one and immediately we're going to do a backward forward knot. Backward, forward knot. Then we grab the other yellow string and we're going to do a forward backward knot. A forward, backward knot. The two end up in the middle again. So we tie them together. Just like that, and that's our tiny diamond in the middle. So now we're gonna grab the next string. So how do you know which is the next string? Well, there's the yellow diamond, and right above it, it's the blue string. So that's how you know that you grab that string, and we're gonna do two forward knots. One and two. Then we're gonna grab the other string, the other blue string, and we're gonna do two backward knots. So it's one and two. Then 
the two blue strings are in the middle, so we tie them together. And here we have another diamond right outside the yellow diamond. So now we have to grab the pink strings, which is the second string. And we're going to do four forward knots. Okay. Now we grab the other pink string and we're going to do four backward knots. The two pink strings are in the middle. So now we tie them together. And this is actually it. After this, you repeat the same steps, which is starting with the chevron and then making the two triangles on the sides and then the diamond again in the middle. But it's not going to be the same colors. It's going to be alternating. So it's going to be like this. So after a diamond, you make a chevron and while making the chevron that creates the next diamond, like the different color. Okay. So that is it. See, it's such a simple bracelet, not, not too complicated really easy to memorize so again same steps from when we started except for the forward backward knots and backward forward knots that we made here to make the teardrop loop but just chevron and then triangles and diamond and then chevron triangles and diamond so i'm gonna continue making this bracelet so that way you guys can appreciate more the design with the alternating diamond colors. So here we are at the end of the bracelet. So I ended up doing three or well four, if you count this one, four rows of chevrons, mainly because when I finished this one, this, when I finished this diamond, it was still too short for my wrist. So if I made another diamond, then it would have been too long and I don't really like my bracelets to fit me loose. So I decided to just use, just to do chevrons, okay? So that's an option if you have the same problem as me. So now we're just gonna finish this bracelet so it looks neat and professional, I guess. So on the left side, we're gonna grab the second string, one, two, and we're gonna do a backward knot. Then we put them together 
and we grab the next one and a backward knot with the two strings together just like that and then together and then the next one backward knot just like that and then the next one and the last one there we go so now we do the same thing on the other side we grab the second string and this time we're gonna do forward knot so a forward knot then they're gonna be together we grab the next string and then a forward knot and we just do that then since we have a loop after we're done doing this we're going to end up with a triangle and since we have the loop we need to i'm gonna braid a rope braid two rope braids right here so that way i can tie it around my wrist and then there's the last one just like that and there we have it so now it's just doing the two rope braids three and three we twist to the right or left whatever is comfortable comfortable for you and then we braid to the left just like that and we're gonna do that right here and then right here and we'll be done and here we have the bracelet okay this is what i was telling you about with the alternating colors with the diamonds see so like each diamond gets smaller like the white one and then the yellow one and then the purple and then the pink and so yeah here is the teardrop loop so it's just like a two kind of like a two-in-one tutorial and then just the triangle and the rope braid this is how it looks on the other side and it's just pastel colors compared to this one for this one i didn't do the loop i actually started with the triangle and then i made the loop way too long but then again it's the same ending and i did the same thing i finished it with a couple more chevrons because you know my wrist is just a weird size so there we have it. I really hope you like this tutorial and that you could actually make this bracelet. Um, unfortunately, I there's no pattern since I think I learned this bracelet from a book a while ago. But if I do find a pattern, I will share it on my Facebook page. If you haven't liked my Facebook page, please go and check out check it out and like it and follow me and if you and if you guys like this tutorial please like this video and yeah this is it and if you guys would like to see more videos about these beautiful friendship bracelets then please subscribe and i'll see you next time